Hi, my name's Emma Simtildich and um, we have a design practice based in the Cotswolds in beautiful uh, countryside outside Bath. Um, here we have a team of about 25 people and we work all over the UK on primarily residential properties, um, country house and also city work. I think from a very young age um, I have always been immersed in a world of design. Um, I come from a very creative family. Um, I have a brother who's a photographer, a great grandfather who is um, an artist, a Royal Academician artist. So I have had that kind of um, uh, creativity bred into me, I guess. And um, from an early age, I, I loved the arts, but um, it wasn't until after I got married and moved from London that um, I set up uh, Sims Hilditch Design Studio, having started life in um, the film world. And that was a really good training. Um, I think working on big film sets and seeing how uh, production design works and, and seeing um, how incredibly quickly they can put together an amazing um, scheme for a film, it made me realise that actually this was something that could be very interesting to do in interiors. I think um, the three words would definitely start with calming. Um, I think when um, clients come and see us or when perhaps they've seen other properties we've done, they, they say that there's always a sort of sense of calm about our interiors. Um, I think elegant, probably, um, although that's slightly subjective, what do you call elegant? But I think for us it's, um, it's about interiors that um, feel um, an element of formality but are also comfortable and easy to live with. So elegance um, and then um, I think timeless as well so we work on um, historic buildings quite often I think our interiors um, we'd like to think that they have longevity that they're not um, they're not fashion driven um, they're not something that you know you're going to want to change every every couple of years I think it's important to um, think about the long term when you're doing a project and that you know most people's budgets are um, you know they'll do it once and they may want to do it sort of once every 10 years they're not going to do it every two or three we're very lucky to work with some wonderful international clients too and um, we quite often get um, asked by clients maybe who are living in Asia or in America to help them with a project in the UK um, that they may have bought and are going to plan to move back to. And so that's quite a fun challenge for us um, in that um, a lot of the meetings might be over Skype and they're not necessarily um, uh, face to face, but it doesn't mean that it's not possible. It just means um, it's more challenging for us. I think um, I would love to design a house for Hugh Laurie. Um, I really like him as an actor. I love the fact that he's got such a great sense of humour. I think he's very intelligent as well. So I think we would um, be able to do some clever things for him and um, hopefully uh, make it a fun process as well. One of them is um, a, a grade two star house up in um, Lancashire, uh, which has been in the same family for 500 years. And the house dates back um, about 700 years, so it's got some amazing architecture and some amazing bones, and the client's wonderful. So that's an exciting project. Um, we also are working on um, an ice cream parlour at the moment um, in a country house um, in a pool, pool room. Um, our client is um, wanting to make a space for um, grandchildren and friends and family to have fun um, around swimming pool. So we've been doing quite a lot of research into um, sort of 1950s style ice cream parlours. So that's a new one for me. Um, and then um, we're also working in London at the moment on um, a fantastic uh, project in an old piano factory up in Camden. Um, it's a very industrial um, sort of warehouse feel to it, so something completely different for Sims Hilditch, um, but we like to have challenges, so that's a fun one. 
So with a new project, um, we spend time initially getting to know the client. That's absolutely fundamental um, in the whole process. Um, the first thing to do is um, ideally meet them here at our studio or obviously we go to their home. And during that first meeting, we have quite an extensive list of questions that we'll ask them, um, really just to establish the type of feel they want for their home and how they're going to live. Are they very relaxed? Do they have a sense of formality? Uh, the whole idea about a house is that it functions well, not just looks beautiful. So that's the beginning stage, um, is to get the brief and then work out um, what the client's needs are. I think for us, um, we are a full service design practice, so we're end to end, so we can take the house right from the very beginning concept through the interior architectural stages of the project. So we're in-house able to do kitchen design, bathroom design, joinery design. And then we take it to the next step, which is the FF&E, which is furniture, fittings and equipment. So that's the decorative side of the project. And we specialize in, in both of those areas. So having a designer on board early on um, in a project, I think is hugely beneficial. It also means that we can deal with aspects like the um, lighting design. And for us, lighting is probably one of the key areas that we like to uh, make sure we influence because it really can change the whole dynamic and feel of a home. I mean, there are so many things to love about being a designer. I think it's, it's an incredible um, privilege to be able to go into people's homes and feel that in some shape or form we can um, create houses that are um, going to make people happy and ultimately that's what I feel is the most important thing in our job is to help people um, create homes that are going to make their lives easier, they're going to be able to relax in them when they come home in the evening, they're going to be able to know where all the devices live in their kitchen so we design special power drawers into our kitchen cabinet so that all the devices at the end of the day can go into that drawer, tucked away, put on charge and then the family can have time together without hopefully having charging points all around the kitchen with nasty devices out. I'm not a huge one for trends um, in design. Um, I love to be quite instinctive about design. Um, I have noticed a lot more colour coming in um, in the last few years. I mean, historically our business has been um, of a sort of quite calm, neutral palette, but I think more and more now we are um, looking to introduce a bit more colour. People want to see more colour in their homes. I think I like to try and mix the contemporary with the classic to form that, that lovely balance. So it's sort of a modern take on, on tradition, I guess. So we're not trend-led as a business. Um, but equally, we're out there looking to see what's going on all the time and, and I think we, are, we like to feel that just because we're a country practice based in the country, it doesn't mean that we're not a, with a global viewpoint. So I think when considering lighting in a project, um, if at all possible, we will get in there right at the beginning of the project before um, even the construction starts. So, um, in an ideal world, we would work with the architect um, at the very early stages, the interior architectural phase of the build. Um, we love to think that we can bring um, a lot of value to um, the client and to the home by getting involved in the lighting. Um, it's, it has such an incredible effect and for us, lighting is probably one of the key things in a, in a project for us. It's, it's probably the single most important thing. If you get the lighting right, um, it just gives that impact and that atmosphere, it creates that ambience, it, it gives um, a house just a completely transformational effect. So yeah, I'm a massive fan of lighting. <laughs> I think um, the room that's probably the most difficult to incorporate lighting in is a room where um, it's a multi multi-functional room. So we do a lot of houses now where um, there's a kitchen, dining and sort of sitting living room all in one big space. And obviously that room is going to be used at lots of different times of the day. That sort of kitchen area has got to be really functional lighting. 
but it's also got to be very atmospheric in the evening so when the dinner is made and you're sitting at the dining table you don't want to see all the uh, dirty pots and pans and then you want to have the sort of subtle um, lights dimmed in the kitchen and then have some sort of atmosphere around the table but also have um, something to look at in the sitting area so those three areas all need to be easy to operate under one lighting control system and that's probably the room where we would most likely be using um, some sort of lighting control. Apart from a large glass of wine, <laughs> which you probably get, um, <laughs> that answer is probably quite common. I think um, we live in the countryside and I think we're surrounded by beautiful um, hills, hills and valleys and woodlands and we're country people and um, there's nothing better than going for a good walk. Uh, so for me that's my relaxation is getting out there into the fresh air.